Hey everybody, moving on to chapter three. <clears throat> safe, effective care, uh, safe, effective care environment. Chapter three: Ethical Responsibilities. Let's get right down to it. Question one: A nurse is caring for a client who decides not to have surgery despite significant blockages in his coronary arteries. This nurse understands that this client's choice is an example of which of the following ethical principles? A. Fidelity. B. Autonomy. C. Justice. D. Non-malficience. Let's see. I'm sorry. Let's see what the answers are. Okay. The answers to question one is B. In this situation, the client is exercising his right to make his own personal decision about surgery, regardless of other others opinions of what is best for him. This is an example of autonomy. Okay, question two. A nurse offers pain medication to a client who is post-operative prior to ambulation. The nurse understands that this aspect of care delivery is an example of which of the following ethical principles? A. Fidelity. B. Autonomy. C. Justice. D. Beneficence. The answer is D. Beneficence is taking positive actions to help others by administering pain medication before the client attempts a potentially painful exercise like ambulation the nurse is taking a specific and positive action to help the client question three a nurse is instructing a group of nursing students about the responsibilities involved with organ donation and pro procurement when the nurse explains that the, all clients waiting for kidney transplant have to meet the same qualifications the student should understand that this aspect of care Delivery is an example of which of the following ethical principles? A. Fidelity. B. Autonomy. C. Justice. D. Non-maleficence. The answer to question three is C, as in cat. Justice is fairness in care delivery and in the use of resources. By applying the same qualifications to all potential kidney transplants, plant recipients. Organ, organ procurement organizations demonstrate this ethical principle in determining the allocation of these scarce resources. Question 4. A nurse questions a medication prescription as too extreme in light of the client's advanced age and unstable status. The nurse understands that this action is an example of which of the following ethical principles? A. Fidelity. B. Autonomy. C. Justice. D. Non-maleficence. The answer to this question is D, non-maleficence, is the avoidance of harm or injury. In this situation, administering, administering the medication could harm the client. By questioning it, the nurse is demonstrating this ethical principle. And last question. A nurse is instructing a group of nursing students about how to know and what to expect when ethical dilemmas arise. Which of the following situations should the students identify as an ethical dilemma? A. A nurse, um, a nurse on a medical surgical unit demonstrates signs of a chemical impairment. B. A nurse overhears another nurse telling an older adult client that if he doesn't stay in bed, she will have to apply restraints. C. A family has conflicting feelings about the initiation of an enteral tube feedings for their father who is terminally ill. Or D. A client who is terminally ill hesitates to name her spouse on her durable power of attorney form. The answer to question 5 is C. Cor uh, making the decision about initiating enteral tube feedings is an example of an ethical dilemma a review of a scientific data cannot resolve the issue and it is not easy to resolve. The decision will have a profound effect on the situation and on the client. That is it. <clears throat>